Hey there guys, Luke here with the Outdoor Gear Review. Thank you so much for tuning in for this episode. Today we are taking a look at yet another item from the Arterix Leaf Division. Now you guys have already seen the ILBE, which I'm sure many of you guys are familiar with. You guys saw the extremely rare Tango Pack, which is a civilian version of that pack. Now guys, <clears throat> we are taking a look at a pack that's very, very close to those. This is based off of the same Bora line it's based off the same ILBE pack, and this is another version of that civilian ILBE pack. Very close to the Tango, but different. This is actually a smaller, slimmer version called the Echo. Let me go ahead and do a 360 for you. For me, this is more of a realistic use of that ILBE system. This pack here is the regular size and it's 54 liters and comes in at 6.8 pounds. So it's not super duper heavy, but it still retains that incredible Arteryx design. Incredible quality, no doubt about it. I'll go ahead and take it off and we'll take a look at it. So with no weight, let's hop into this pack here. So we're looking at the back side. You do have a fitted frame sheet on the inside along with two aluminum stays, which you can access from the inside of this pack. You have the padded shoulder straps, lift adjusters, sternum strap. You have quick release here, just like you do on the other packs. You have a very minimalistic waist belt. It's padded, but not overly so, like the ILBE system. Of course, you have the buckles, all the same adjustments that you would expect. Going to the side of the pack here, you have three compression straps, tons of Molly and Pals webbing that's on both sides. Now this pack is lacking that little pocket that was on the side of the Tango pack or the ILBE. So you won't be able to stash your water bottle there or anything like that. So that is definitely different. What also is different is that you do have a zippered pocket right here and you have zippers on both sides and it gives you access just to a big pocket right here in the front. So maybe you want to stash your clothing in there something like that, some smaller items, you definitely can and you definitely have the space to do so. Definitely a pretty unique function. In the front of the pack, tons of webbing right here. And of course you have two straps holding on the lid. The lid itself has some webbing right here on top has a zippered pocket on top, no zipper pocket on the inside of the lid. Going over to the other side, this is interesting. You have those compression straps, you have the webbing, you have no pocket. You do have access to the inside of the pack. So you can actually grab your gear, pull it out without having to go through the top. So on one side, you have access to your gear, while on the other side, you have access to a pocket. Definitely different, I like it. On the bottom of this pack, you do have this loop right here, you have some daisy chain, and you have these little bits of cordage, which I'm not entirely sure what that's for. I've never seen that before, so if anybody knows, let me know. On top, you do have a compression strap, along with an expandable pocket, giving you plenty of space. You have a drawstring right here, and you also have a drawstring here at the top. So we'll go ahead here and pull out the pillows. And what you are left with really is just a gigantic rucksack. I know you guys probably won't be able to see inside of this thing, so I'll just go ahead and tell you what's in there. Like I said, you do have access to the aluminum stays to the frame sheet. You also have a sleeve here, which you can put a hydration bladder if you want to. And you also have ports on the outside so you can run your hoses, run your cables, whatever you need to do. And that is all. Now what we are taking a look at right here is an interesting way of keeping tidy all of your straps. Now a lot of packs will have little Velcro loops that you can wrap around, keep everything nice and neat. This has a little bit of shock cord so you can basically get what you need. You can roll it up, just like so, something like this. 
And then you could just take that shock cord and run it over the cordage, latch it onto here, as you might be able to see, and it stays nice and neat. That's definitely an interesting feature that I haven't seen before. All right, so you guys have seen the features, you've seen the packs. Let's go over some of the specifics here, some of the stats on this thing. As I mentioned, this is a 54 liter pack right here. You can usually find this in short, regular, and large, and they all vary just a little bit. This comes in at 6.8 pounds, so it's not super heavy. This is made from 725D Kodora material. Definitely bomb proof, super strong, and it is Arteryx quality, so that you know right from the get-go that it's gonna be stronger than your average pack. Of course, they always go up above and beyond when it comes to their stitching to their craftsmanship so you get more stitches than you would with an average pack pretty impressive i'm definitely a big fan of arteryx but if you guys are familiar with them you guys know that they cost a bloody fortune this pack right here runs about 489 dollars if you can find it if you can find it this pack is super rare not quite as rare as the tango pack that i showed you it's just a notch below that. Now, since I love you guys, right, you guys can look in the description box below and you will find a link to a website that happens to have a couple of these who are selling them right now for $244. Now that I've stated that, they will not last long, so guys, good luck, enjoy. I know there's not many left in their inventory and that comes from Tactical Distributors, which I can tell you they are a top-notch company. Um, if you're interested, make sure to sign up for their newsletter, get 15% off, then make your purchase. There you go, guys. That's how you be crafty, you know what I mean? As mentioned, this does come from the Leaf Division, Law Enforcement and Armed Forces. So, technically, these are not made for civilians. You have to have a government contract, be a soldier, or so on and so forth to get one of these. But there are ways to acquire packs such as this, such as from... Tactical distributors, they rock. And like I said, you really can't find most of this stuff on the civilian market now. But the, that's just kind of the way that Arteryx has gone about this. You can't purchase it directly from Arteryx unless you have one of these IDs. So, you know, that's just how it goes. This color here is the crocodile color, which is a mix of coyote brown and green. I like it. There is a gray color available as well, which is called wolf. And, yeah, it's not too bad either. This is what Arteryx calls a three-day assault pack. Now to me, guys, I consider that a just full-on backpack. If you want to go out for three days and call it an assault pack, you definitely can because it definitely fits the bill. There's a number of three-day assault packs out there that are good for maybe an overnight if you're pushing it to the max and you're not carrying much. So as far as three-day assault packs go, this definitely fits the bill, no doubt about it. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. That's our look at the Echo Pack from Arteryx Leaf Division. And I have to say that I'm super excited that I have one of these. This is a really nice pack. I can't wait to begin testing it out, to take it out on some overnight adventures. And coming up soon, you guys will have the options to start picking some of this gear. It's time to go camping. So, yep, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Do my best to address them for you. Make sure to check the description box. You guys will find links to our Facebook page, our website, to the site and the page where you can buy this bag. They'll go fast, no doubt about it. And whoever the individuals are that end up purchasing this pack, you're getting a fantastic pack that will last you the rest of your life. That's Arteryx quality, you guys know that. So make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see you guys around. Take care, everybody.